so today I have a different thing than I normally do. Um, actually, normally I don't really make videos, but I'm doing this one because I couldn't find a good video on it. I am going to be baking my R9290 uh, to try and recover it. It's artifacting, there's zigzag lines, it's making nice little uh, light spots of pink, blue, and yellow, and green that flash on it, so the first thing you have to do is uh, you have to flip it over. Yeah, you gotta get to the back of that there. Um, there are six screws holding the heatsink itself onto the card. Um, there are four more screws holding the top plate on. Uh, remove the two to the left and then remove the GPU in a cross pattern, the uh, GPU screws, because it's doesn't have a shroud over it like uh, CPUs do, so if you mess it up, uh, you could potentially kill your card. Um, now what you want to remember is you need to unplug your fan cable, or it'll get caught when you take it off. Um, it's not too complicated, but just unplug it and then it should pop up fairly easily. If you're having any issues, please double check your card. See if there's more screws on it that you did not undo. As you can see, it should come off with minimal effort. Now, it looks like whoever was the idiot that had this card before me put thermal paste on all of the components. Uh, you don't need to do that. There are thermal pads on there. That actually didn't help a thing. Um, so there's the heatsink itself with all the thermal paste on it. Uh, really? I, I, I don't even know why somebody would do that. But I digress. Um, next up, we're going to have to take off the top piece. Like I said, there's four screws holding it on. It's just this little bracket right here. Um, you just start from left to right and go at it. And this one kind of latches on. The screw hole to the left was above the board while the other three were beneath it. So you have to just slide that off. Uh, if you pay attention to what you're doing, you shouldn't damage your card. However, you do have to be smart about what you're doing and know what you're doing. Um, up next is cleaning the graphics card off. Um, you're going to want to get all that thermal paste off. In my case, I had to remove a lot more than you will. Um, so I just went over it with a facial tissue, and now I'm using Q-tips and a uh, bit of rubbing alcohol to get the rest of the thermal paste off. And I'll just let you guys watch this in super speed. You want to make sure you get all the thermal paste out that you can. Um, I go over it right here and take the Q-tip with rubbing alcohol and try to get all the thermal paste that excreted out from the GPU in between the transistors. Um, just remove that and then next up so as you can see it's nice and clean and when you set the oven you're going to want to set it to 375 and let it heat up um, obviously you don't want to just put your GPU in there on an oven um, go outside too because it's toxic the fumes that it releases so be careful of that don't do it inside or if you have to open your windows um, now I have a ceramic cup that I place the GPU on yeah. you don't want it sitting on the metal because you don't want it shorting out even though there is no electricity going through it still don't want that so just put it on there uh, and leave it for 10 minutes. Uh, I will fast forward it or cut it depending on how I feel. It'll probably be... So now we're taking it out. What you want to do 
does not burn yourself. So I could have gone inside and got a hot, pa hot pad, but I just used a piece of cardboard because I'm lazy and it was already there and it wasn't too hot. So now that that's removed, you're going to want to let it cool. Um, just leave it sit there. I'll see if I can get a better shot for you. Uh, there you go. And as you can see, still same PCB. It's just the really hot right now. <laughs> After you let it cool, you're going to want to make sure you apply new thermal paste. Do not forget this or you will fry your card. Um, now I ran out of thermal paste right there, so I'm going to take a Q-tip and take all the fuzz off of it, all the cotton off, and spread it around. You don't have to do this, but I'm just doing this to make sure that I have enough to cover the whole thing, because I did run out right there. Um, so, as you can see, I had enough to cover it, and now I'm gonna go ahead and reapply all of the thermal pads. Do not forget to redo those either, or you will again have heating issues. No bueno. Now I'm just starting to reassemble everything else. You want to make sure you put the top plate back on before you do anything uh, because you cannot get to it after you put the heat sink on. So don't forget to do it in the right order. Do it in the reverse order of that you took it off. It's not the most complicated thing in the world and I hope you guys can figure that out. Now what isn't shown is there are two more heat uh, pads on it, thermal pads and I didn't put them on the memory module or on the transistors because it was stuck to the heat sink so I just left that on there because um, I, I don't have new heat pads and I didn't want to rip them and make them not work. Now again going across pattern uh, you may have to hold your GPU up if you're flipping it upside down like this uh, hold the heat sink onto the GPU because the screws aren't that long, um, but just put those six screws back in and make sure you plug the fan back in again. You don't want to kill your card. Um, and you're all set. I just push it in with a screwdriver to help it out a little. Couldn't get my finger in there. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and put it in my computer and test it out. So here's the card, I'm just getting ready to go, I'm going to wipe off the uh, PCIe fingers so because I touched them with my fingers and just getting all the oil off that from your skin and by the way it does not mess up cards if you touch the fingers for the PCIe connectors. Uh, I don't know why people get all cringy over that. It's doesn't make a lick of difference. So now make sure you plug everything back in and what I didn't do and I, I'm just going to cut it out is I forgot to plug in my monitor and my TV again. <laughs> so I booted it up, I started panicking and then I realized it wasn't plugged in and it works fine. So then I ran Combustor uh, for a little bit and I played some games to test it after this and it's working great now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.